All right, well, welcome everyone to today's webinar. It's three o'clock, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. My name is Emily Kuhn, and I'm on the marketing team here at RealityWorks. I'm here with Samantha Forehand, who is our marketing communications manager and the presenter of today's webinar. Samantha has been with RealityWorks for about almost 14 years, and she works closely with customers to offer solutions and information to create innovative classrooms, and she also frequently leads presentations on program best practices, product training, and student engagement. Before I hand the presentation over to Samantha, I'd like to review just a few quick items. I do wanna let all of today's attendees know that you will receive a link to the webinar recording, as well as a certificate of completion following today's presentation. Also, we are dedicating some time at the end of the presentation for live questions. So if you have a question or a concern uh, at all during the presentation, please feel free to make a note and we will be sure to answer, answer it at the end of the presentation. With that, I'd like to welcome everyone to today's webinar and I'm gonna turn things over to Samantha. Right, thanks Emily. And thank you everybody for uh, joining our webinar, The Logistics of Launching a Real Care uh, Baby Program Secrets from Successful Users. Um, at RealityWorks, we feel really lucky that we have such great customers who are willing to uh, share their program with us, share their best practice, practices with us, um, invite them into their classrooms to see how their programs are working um, so that we truly get an understanding of how people are using our programs. Uh, we get to learn a lot from educators about the kind of content that they're looking for to help us create some new programs that we can offer you um, and then improve anything that we have as well. Um, I also ha have felt that getting into classroom has helped me come up with some really good information to be able to um, write stories and blogs and um, share content like this on webinars with, with all of you today. Um, Real Care Baby has been around for over 20 years, so we have a lot of content and a lot of really great stuff to share about it. And one thing we, we always hear from um, new educators or um, educators who go to new schools and have a program is they're just really not sure on how to get started with a Real Care Baby program um, and what just some of the basics are. So that's really what we're looking to cover today um, in the next 20, 25 minutes is um, how you would just go about launching a program and what you need and what have we heard from classrooms that are successful with the program. Um, so what we're going to cover is, uh, first we're just going to go over the parts and pieces of the program. Um, so if you're totally new and don't have a program, you can see what um, is included with BABY. Um, if you're inheriting a program, then you can just kind of see what is the, the latest version. Um, or if you, you have an active program, you can just um, see kind of those, those highlights of the pieces in the curriculum that we see as key components. Um, with all of the Real Care Baby, you get lots of stuff, and so we have some great tips on organizing all of your programs and what um, other classrooms look like around the country. Um, we want to go over some simple ideas on how you can prepare yourself as the teacher before you deploy Baby out um, into an experience for your students, and how would you uh, prepare your students within the classroom as well. Um, and then I want to cover some of the engaging ideas and those best practices, some of the fun things we've heard from educators on how they, they take their, their program beyond just the baby experience to really hit home their lessons. Um, so the Real Care Baby program. So it originally um, started back in the early 90s when a husband and wife couple invented the first, um, the original baby. They invented it because the uh, nation was having a big teen pregnancy crisis. Um, they wanted a really good high tech um, option to teach parenting skills and infant care skills. And so they developed what um, the first baby was. They, they invented it in a garage as all great ideas have been invented. Um, and they came out with a baby known as Baby Think It Over. In over the last 20, 25 years, the technology in baby has changed quite a bit. Um, educators have shared what they desire for new advancements with babies. Um, and today's students have changed uh, as well. And so we have had to change our baby. So we've had many generations of Real Care Baby, um, but we really feel that we've made it the most realistic we possibly can. We try to make it really easy for um, the user to use, for the teacher to deploy, and we have a really great product that's, that's impacting a lot of lives. Um, we were originally known as Baby Think It Over. That's what the, the product was and the company was. 
Um, but because we've gotten out and gotten to know other customers, we've learned what else they would like. And so we have quite a few extensions to the baby line, and we have quite a few other programs that go throughout career and technical education. Um, we sell into the agriculture market, the health science market, um, welding and trades. Uh, we go beyond education as well with our programs. And so we became Reality Works because we wanted to offer several innovative learning tools that could help in the classroom. Um, but this webinar is going to be about baby because that that is our, our flagship product and um, a really exciting product for your students in your classroom. Okay, so what do you get with your Real Care Baby program? Um, with it, you get the, the infant simulator uh, known as Real Care Baby 3. Um, baby is now programmed wirelessly and it has no batteries. It's charged just by plugging it into the wall. Um, it, uh, it has carry vents that it needs, and that would be changing its diapers, feeding it, rocking it, burping it. There are sensors throughout the baby, sensors in its diapers and its bottles and its clothing. Um, it really can track everything that the student does with baby, whether they're caring for it, neglecting it, or mishandling it. A mishandling being shaking the baby, not supporting the head, um, or putting it in a wrong position. Um, so that is kind of the ins and outs of baby. To, to further the program, you can get accessories with it, which would include a diaper bag for all of this stuff. As, as um, we know, kids come with a lot of stuff, so the diaper bag can hold all of those pieces. Um, a car seat with a car seat detection kit. So as the educator, you can monitor how long they've been sitting in a car seat. Um, and then also a blanket with that as well. Um, and each baby does uh, come with curriculum. Uh, software, well, you, the program needs software, um, and the software is going to be for your reporting and your grading. And this is going to help you monitor what um, the student did with the baby and help you program it for that week-long or weekend experience that they're going to have. Now, the curriculum that comes with it is really great. And we did a lot of surveying with our customers a few years ago to find out um, how they were using the curriculum and, and were they aware of all the, all the pieces that come with it. Um, and we are happy to hear a lot of people really enjoy the curriculum and they like to take parts and pieces of each of the um, units that they get with it. Um, the baby comes with four different sets of curriculum, everything from childcare careers, um, teen pregnancy prevention, parenting, child development, and then we have one specifically for middle school. And within each of these curricula, you are going to get uh, pre and post test assessments, presentation slides, activities, um, all the content and lesson plans you need, and even extra credit ideas. Um, and, and what I really love to hear is when educators find value in each of these and, and can use them throughout their lessons, whether it's um, when they're doing the baby experience or even beyond that as well. Um, so the curriculum is a key component that comes with baby and it's, it's really vital to the program and, and great, a great learning experience for the students. Um, so we've talked about how you get all of these um, parts and pieces and a lot of times educators just ask us, how do I organize it all? What's, a, what's an efficient way to keep track of everything? Um, and then also now that I have all this stuff, how do I really get it out to the students? How do I prepare my classroom and prepare my, my students for um, this program? And our, our best idea that we have gotten and we have um, this inventory check sheet available um, as a download on our website, but some educators come up with their own, but, but one great idea is just to have an inventory check for each of your real care babies. Um, this one that we have listed on here is everything, all the basic things that you would need to have with your baby. And so um, when you're going to organize it, you can take this check sheet, make sure all of those parts and pieces are with the baby, and you can um, store it right with it. And white run a student's gonna take the baby out, you can check it, make sure they got sent home with each of the pieces, and when the baby comes back, you can check that again and see if they return each of the pieces. Um, some educators will use this, some will create their own, because we've heard that other people like to, to add extra supplies to um, weigh down the students or make it even more realistic, additional clothing or additional toys and so on. Um, but an inventory check, I'll, I'll mention this a few times throughout the, the webinar, is a, a key way to keep yourself organized in your program. 
Um, another thing is, is how do you physically organize all of the materials? Um, these are three different classrooms that we visited and three different ways that they're organizing their materials. Um, the first one is by using just some simple bins. Um, a teacher will keep all of the supplies and the baby in each bin and label them accordingly. Um, it keeps them clean, keeps them dry, and um, they can just pull one bin per student. You can see the students that were walking down the hall with each of their bins. Um, if you don't want to do the bins, the, the baby box that it's actually shipped to you in is a great storage compartment as well. Um, we created these so that they would fit just on standard shelves in classrooms because they're a great place to, to store your baby and all those supplies as well. Um, another idea is to use a diaper bag. Um, it's a piece that the students would take home with them, but it's an easy place to keep all of the extra clothing and bottles in that and then store that with each baby. Uh, one teacher gave us the idea several years ago um, to make sure each baby had their supplies is they do a numbering system. So they'll have a bin with a number one on it. They'll take their baby and physically write a number one on the back of the baby. Each diaper gets a number one, each ID, each um, bottle, and all of that encompassing all have a number on it. So it's really easy when they take that inventory check sheet to say, okay, this student has baby one and I can easily go down and see they have um, two diapers, both with the number one, uh, their ID with the number one, and so on. Um, the numbering system or even a naming system works really well to, to keep those organized right within a bin or right within that baby box. Um, so preparing yourself now that you have all your stuff organized, a good way to prepare yourself is the, the number one tip we tell people is to watch our Real Care student video. Um, it's a great video. It's about 15 minutes long, and it goes through the full experience of what the student is going to experience when they have baby. So how they properly rock it, how they burp the baby, where they put the IDs. Um, it's a free download on our website. It's a great way for you to familiarize yourself with what the student's about to experience. Um, another great way for you to familiarize yourself with that is to take baby home. So if you haven't taken baby home and you are um, offering the program, we highly suggest that you, you take baby even if it's for a couple hours in the evening, but just to understand what that student's going to experience, um, what they're going to have to do with, with the ID and with the uh, um, diapers and so on so that, so that you can see what they um, are going to go through when they have that baby for their weekend or week-long experience. We also suggest that you prepare your permission slips, prepare your paperwork all ahead of time. We have um, great permission slips on our website, whether it's um, for home, we have letters for your coworkers, we have letters for coaches, all of this paperwork available um, for you to send out and use ahead of time to um, kind of prepare those around you who are gonna go through the baby experience as well. Um, also, if you go out on our website, realityworks.com, we have a support page. And on our product support page, we have um, lots of videos, we have lots of um, FAQs, a couple guides you can download. Um, if you just have a quick question on, a, on some basic things with Real Care Baby, I guarantee you we probably have the answer right out there on our website. Um, and if just preparing yourself, go out there and see, see what's available and what questions that you might have. Um, it's a great place to learn some, some tips and tricks with the program to, to help you answer things or, or determine how to figure things out. Um, and also with Real Care Baby, um, some educators don't know this, but you can program your babies ahead of time. You can program them up to seven days in advance. So if you're sending the program out on a Friday afternoon, you can program them on your Wednesday break, if you have a Wednesday break, and take that um, half hour hour to preset uh, when the baby's going to start, um, what's the difficulty level of it, and, and when you want that experience to end as well. Um, so to prepare your students, a couple ideas we have is um, have them sign up ahead of time. So um, educators have had some great um, sheets where they give, um, they'll have a number listed, and that could be the number associated with your babies that you have. They'll have um, the available weeks or weekends that they have for the simulation and then the student name. Um, and the students can kind of take ownership of that of if they have a big sports tournament coming up so they really can't take it that weekend, they could sign up for another one. Um, and they can sign up for, for when they're going to have that baby. It's gonna make it more organized for you and then it's also going to um, be easier for the students too to, to really be prepared of when they're gonna have their baby experience. Um, 
in class, we suggest you watch that Real Care Baby student video. So when the students are getting prepared to take baby home and getting to understand it, play that 15 minute video for you. That same video we suggested that you watch on your own, you can play that right in class before students are gonna have the baby. This is gonna help answer a lot of those questions that they're gonna have um, right away through that video. Also, we have a free uh, student app, a free app for iPhone um, or Android that's available. On the app is going to be frequently asked questions, some videos, how they deal with stress management. Um, just because once they, they get on their own and they're having a really fussy baby, um, if they had some questions, they can jump right on their app and, and figure that out. Um, it's very similar to real life. If, if my child is sick, I have my phone. I can quickly Google things and, and get some answers as well. So the app's available for free, and we suggest you make that available for your students to download. Um, another way to prepare your students is to do an in-class demonstration. Um, within the software, we have a demo mode is what we call it. And we have this because we want you to be able to give the students a chance to get to know baby and understand what um, they're going to experience. Um, so what you can do with the demo mode is you just click on um, available babies, click on demo, you'll get a screen like this, and you can decide if you just want to have the students feed the baby, um, if you want them to go through all of the options, which would be feeding it, burping it, diapering it, coughing it, um, or I'm sorry, rocking it. Um, you can play just one-offs, you can do continuous mode, but really the reason you want to do this is, is just to help them get a little bit of taste of what it's going to be like when they're on their own. And um, there's a lot of students that get nervous and they're not putting the bottle in the right position or they're not IDing the baby right. And, and this is a chance for you to kind of do that troubleshooting with students right, right on site. Um, so the demonstration mode is, is key to preparing your students right in your classroom. So once you feel like you're ready to actually send your babies out, they're pre-programmed ahead of time, the students understand what they're getting, um, you're gonna have your pickup day. Um, the, the classroom I went in locally just recently um, does their pickup day on a Friday afternoon. And so as soon as school ends, the students come to their family consumer science classroom to pick up their babies. And the way this educator did it is they created stations. So they had a station um, for picking up their supplies, a station for picking up their accessories, um, for getting their wristband and ID, and then a final station to do that inventory check. And so the student would go to each station to get all of their um, their numbered babies, so their baby one, their supplies one, their ID one, and then that final inventory checklist to make sure that they have everything they need and then they were sent on their way. And I would say the entire process for one student would take maybe five minutes, maybe 10, because they got a little congested because they were sending out 20 babies at once. Um, but the, the teacher used student helpers for each of the stations, students that had already been through the program, um, and it went really quickly for them to get everything right out the door. Um, and, and it just made it a really smooth and not such a scary process as, as um, some educators might think. Um, and then you're gonna have your return day. So students actually bringing everything back. And the way the educator does it is they have the inventory list ready. And so as each student comes back, it's very similar to sending it out. They open their supply bag, they show them the baby, they check off that each of the things that were sent out with the baby are returned with the baby. Um, and it goes really smooth and makes it easy and organized. Um, we do suggest you clean your baby and your supplies after each use because um, they're taking, the students are taking them home, they're taking them into their homes, they're handling it. It's just a best practice to get them cleaned up before it goes out to the next student. The clothes um, and the diapers, they can all be washed right in a machine. Um, baby can be wiped down with um, just a, a damp cloth. If you have any grime kind of built up on baby, we recommend an Imagic, um, a magic eraser works really well. Um, and if you have ink spots on baby, um, those are gonna be the trickiest to get out of the vinyl, but you can use an acne cream, put that right on there, lay the baby out in the sun or underneath a really bright desk light for uh, a day, a half a day, and it should lighten up that ink quite a bit. 
Um, and then also, if you get a chance on return day to do reflection time, um, that is a really great time to, to give students time to really think about the process and dropping the baby off and what, what their emotions were with having the baby and, and have them reflect on that whole experience with it too. Don't lose that opportunity to kind of hit home what happened with that baby. Um, in getting the report off baby, as long as you have your software up and baby's in your classroom within 50 feet, it's automatically going to download right onto your software. So if you can't get to it right away, those reports will be on your software and ready to go when you're ready to, to grade. And so um, after the baby um, has been, been sent out, um, we wanted to think of some other creative, engaging ideas that you can do beyond just that baby experience. Um, the first one, and I did mention this, is, is journaling and reflecting of that experience is something we have found to be really key. Um, this is built into each of the curricula that we offer, um, and this is probably a best practice we share on every webinar we do, but journaling about the experience has been really a great reflection for the students on um, are they prepared for a baby? Are they prepared for a childcare career? Whatever your area is that you're using baby it really helps them um, internalize and, and get out what they were feeling. Um, and it's also just a great exercise to have them write, have them write out in, and reflect in, um, turn that in into a journal experience. Um, one extra credit thing we have really seen a lot of in the past few years is doing video diaries. Um, video diaries, you can see a lot of them out on YouTube. It's something you could share with your students, um, but it's a fun way that today's students can kind of connect to the experience um, and use their creative skills in, in that video experience or that video journaling. Um, and we always say grade more than just the baby experience. Um, this is a grading rubric that we got from um, one of our educators in Illinois, and it's ways that she grades beyond just how they did physically with the experience. Um, a couple great things I think on this sheet is um, the daily journal, a minimum of three entries a day. I think that's great because it, it might still be fun right away when they get the baby in the morning, um, but having them journal after having the baby for a full day or being woken up in the middle of the night can definitely be key. Um, another great one on here is public opinion, doing an outing with the baby. So taking the baby out and about, um, going to the mall, taking him to the grocery store, um, and then reflect on, on what kind of um, engagement they had with people around them. What were people thinking of this teenager with a baby? Um, and how difficult was it to drag that car seat with a baby out and about with them? Um, and then the one I highlighted on the bottom um, that you could do for extra credit is that video diary. So at least five entries of that diary, a minimum of two minutes a time. Um, it's kind of that fun extra thing the student could do above and beyond that that might be really engaging for their program. Um, and one other engaging idea that we have is to incorporate a financial lesson. Um, again, the, there are financial lessons, um, how much does a baby cost, right built into our Reality Works curriculum. And that's going to get into everything from daycare cost and um, supplies costs and diaper costs and so on and so forth. Um, but a way to take it even, even beyond the curriculum lesson is to do a field trip with your students. So have your students physically go out to a store and have to price out what some of these key items are. Um, one cool thing that we heard a teacher recently do is they create a list, um, a needs list for their baby and a wants list for their baby. So everybody thinks it's really fun to go out and buy all these cute outfits, but do they need the outfits or do they just want the outfits? So they create the list, they go out on that field trip, they price it out, and then they determine what they really need um, for their baby. And they also see how much a baby actually costs. Um, if you can't take a field trip, another great way is just use the internet. Um, go on to target.com to do the pricing. Um, go on to babycenter.com. They have a baby cost calculator that actually spells out how much some of these items cost. Um, financial lessons are great life lessons in general, but it's also great to hit home um, how much a baby is going to cost and really bring some reality to, to that experience. Um, so we have gone over quite a few different ideas, and so what can you do with all of this now? Um, so I just wanted to share some resources and some promotions happening at Reality Works that, that you could take action on now. Um, first, if, if you have a baby program already established, 
um, go check out your curriculum. If you're not currently using it or you're only using one or two lessons, um, I suggest you take some time to get to know it and see what else is out there that we offer. Um, there's some great, great lessons and activities that um, you could use and implement and, and use those PowerPoints. Um, another thing is we have um, our real care program documents. These are available in the curriculum. We have now have student workbooks that are going to have all these documents in them, um, or we have them online. And these documents are going to be um, those permission slips, um, assessment rubrics, it's going to be those memos or letters to coaches and coworkers, um, kind of all that paperwork I talked about with preparing yourself. Um, we have all of that available on our website um, or in those student workbooks or curriculum. So um, another suggestion for what you can do now is, is just see what documents are available out there for you. Um, and then our, our last one is we suggest you go visit product support. Again, whether you have a program or don't, um, go, go see what we have to offer and what kind of training that we have that's available right on our website that would help you understand um, really how simple it is to use our program and how simple it is to use the um, software, but then also to, to answer some great questions for you as well. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is we do have a real care baby trade-in. This is something we always offer um, because we have been around for, for so long and we have had some uh, gen several generations of baby. And like I said, as technology changes and students change, um, our baby has had to change quite a bit as well. Um, we do trade in any of our original versions, any of them that are broken, um, even competitor babies, you can trade in um, for credit towards a new real care baby three simulator. Um, and so it's a $50 credit. So trade in one baby, get credit towards a new one. Uh, one thing to note is we do recycle all of our trade-ins. So if they have um, old batteries in them, old electronic boxes, the vinyl on baby, we recycle all of these. Sustainability is incredibly important to Reality Works, And so all of that will be um, taken into account if you physically send the babies back in. And then the current promotion that we have going on is a um, promotion for getting free supplies and free student workbooks. So if you buy three Real Care Babies uh, threes, you get free supplies, which um, is enough for three Real Care Babies and then uh, also uh, free student workbooks. And um, you might be wondering why do you need additional supplies on top of what you get with the baby? Um, students sometimes don't return things. <laughs> and so then you don't want to be short a bottle or short one diaper. Um, so the supplies are great to kind of keep your program going for an extra um, few years. And then the workbooks is a new addition we added about a year ago. And the workbooks have student activities in them. They have any of the permission slips right built into them. Um, and so it's a great uh, workbook for the student, but also great for some of those extra assets and paperwork that you need. Um, and you can go to realityworks.com to check that promo out. So um, now that we gave you and threw a lot of content at you, does anybody have any questions? Go ahead, you've got a chat button on your screen as well as a questions and answers button. You can use either one to ask any questions. We've definitely got a few minutes to answer any inquiries. Oh, and it looks like we do have one. We'll give everyone a minute or two to type here. Looks like Floretta is wondering about programming babies. Um, Floretta, can you be a little more specific? Do you yeah. currently have a program that you're wondering how to program or just in general inquiring how easy or difficult that might be? Yeah, one thing with um, programming babies, if you wanted some, some specifics on how do you actually go out and program a baby, um, if you go to our product support, page on our website, we have um, at least three videos out there, right, um, to show you how you add the software, how you add babies to it, and then how you program it, and all of the ins and outs of the screens. Um, so you have some old babies and some new babies. Um, it really depends on um, which babies that you have. If you have Real Care Baby 2 Plus and you also have Real Care Baby 3, they can both be used on the same um, software. If you can't locate your software, um, again, we have it as a free download in that support section. We know a lot of times that, that your software might get wiped from your computer over a summer or over a, a winter break, and that's a free download on our website. And then right in that same support section, um, right in that same support section, you can get some ins and outs of how you program baby. 
Um, so if you have Realcare Baby 2 Pluses and you have Realcare Baby 3s, yes, they can be used on the same software. Um, in a couple ways to identify which versions you have, um, simply look at the back of baby and on the back plate, it's going to, to say the name across it. Um, and then also Realcare Baby 2 Plus and Realcare Baby 3s can be charged, so they don't need batteries. They physically can be plugged into the well. Well, thanks, Samantha. It looks like we might not have any other questions. Oh, you know what? I speak too soon. Sorry about yeah. that. <laughs> okay, so, um, and you know, it's a great question that we just got. We have both old software and new, and you're new to the program. Um, we have a really great product support team. If you have not called them yet, um, I highly suggest you do. And I can get the phone number up here. So if you call um, our phone number on the screen and hit option two, our product support team is geared up to take any phone calls on how you get started. So what they're gonna do is they are going to um, look up your account, tell you exactly what versions that you have, how you would incorporate each version of your babies, um, making sure that you have the correct um, software that you're going to need and the correct materials, um, and really walk you through identifying each of those parts and pieces. Um, that is going to be your quickest way to get some program questions answered for you. Um, and, and really, they're going to help you get started. We're, we're really known for our customer service, and we've had a couple support team members, um, Nate and Nathan, who've been with us just as long as I've been here. So um, that would be my best suggestion for, for getting started um, to look up your account and find out what you have. Um, and I, I love these questions and thank you guys. This really helps us here on um, our marketing team to find out what other kind of webinars we might want to offer. And um, maybe we'll be looking into doing a series on just um, using our software and programming babies and identifying what they have. So I thank you for those couple questions to help give us some ideas as well. Thanks everyone for taking the time to attend today's webinar today. It looks like um, we don't have any further questions, so we'll go ahead and wrap things up. Um, of course, if you think of any question or concern after we've ended things, you can um, absolutely reach us at the email address or phone number on your screen. Um, again, all attendees will be receiving a uh, link to the recording as well as a certificate of completion uh, following today's presentation as well. So thanks so much for taking the time to join us today. We, we hope the presentation was useful.